Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix 403 forbidden error. So this is Microsoft Windows 10 and this should work on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 and 11. So I'm going to show you almost five, six ways you can troubleshoot and fix this 403 error. So very first thing, if you're getting this 403 error and uh, you haven't made any change so you can simply refresh uh, hard reset your browser's cache or you can uh, delete browsing history so there are two ways you can just press ctrl and f5 to refresh it or to hard reset it okay so ctrl and f5 the second option is you go to this three dots Depending on what browser you are using, go to settings and then um, you can navigate to history. So history all on Google Chrome, it's already there on the very top. Uh, you can also press Control H uh, depending on what you're comfortable with. So go with Control H and then delete browsing history and then go to advanced. So you will be landing on the basic you want to go to advanced and then select all time and check all the boxes but you do you don't need to down sorry delete download history you don't need to delete your passwords autofills site settings and hosted apps simply go ahead and delete browsing cache and you are done and then the next option you can change your dns okay so to change the dns you simply go to your start menu type control panel uh, and then go to category or large icon you definitely want to go to this network and sharing center and then right click sorry left click on this wi-fi and then go to properties and within this navigator basically window you look for this ipv6 internet protocol version 6 and if it's checked simply go ahead and uncheck it okay and then say okay close and that was the third option the next option is going to be the same you go to control panel it's almost the same this time we'll go with the category so uh, internet and uh, sorry network and internet network and sharing options uh, left click on the internet wi-fi and then properties and this time we're going to change the dns for ipv4 so select it and go to properties and this time we have two options okay so there are so many dnss you can use these are very common ones and very reliable ones so you can go with the cloudflare which is 11111001 or you can go with the google's um, dns so 88888844 you can change it and then simply go ahead and so I've gone ahead and updated my one one, which is Cloudflare's most reliable DNS, fastest one. So go ahead and click OK, close, close, close. Okay, so these were basically the option. The other one, which is going to be fifth one, you should run this command in your com uh, with your CMD as an admin okay so if you do not have admin right you cannot run this these commands okay so what you need to do simply go to start menu type cmd uh, either you can if you're using windows 7 you can right click on it and go run as administrator say yes and then you can say ip config slash flush dns and then you uh, the next is net sh win sa reset 
this will ask you to restart your system to basically reset the WinSock. So you must restart your operating system. The next option is basically it's uh, oh that's only worked on my system. So you can go ahead and install a VPN on your browser, okay? And this should fix the issue, the 403 forbidden error, okay? So that only worked for me, okay? That is another option. The next option would be you can contact your ISP, Internet Service Provider. If there's something wrong on their end, they'll fix it and let you know. And if you're using, like, if you run a blog on WordPress, or if you have um, your your website you run on any any CMS provider, there's a possibility you might re you might have to reset the cache or remove some of the plugins that have just uh, been upgraded or installed by your team. Uh, and that would be it if you're using using Cloudflare as a CDN or any other CDN provider for your WordPress or any website. You can go ahead and disable the CDN or flush the cache, basically CDN cache, and that might also work. So these were few options that I've already tried, but in my case, I just moved to a different country, and this option only worked. I was trying to access my my site. Okay, so this was the only option that worked for me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.